Hi, welcome. Please like, share, and subscribe to my show new channel. Uh, my today's topic is about LIC uh, for upcoming exam preparation. Uh, you know, LIC AAO is on is on a way. So for that, I have introduced the first part of this lecture. Uh, so LIC and organized structure in insurance market. Uh, so. Uh, LIC is one of the leading insurance uh, firm of India for uh, five decades. Uh, it is the most uh, uh, trusted company, enjoying more than 60 years of trust, faith and confidence of people. Uh, it is known as the pension provider of the country, no doubt in that. Uh, and uh, well, from an analysis of the available data uh, shows that the year 1956 was very prominent in terms of changes that took place in the insurance sector and other private sector companies. So uh, on January 19, 19, 19, 1956, the central government of India took over the charge of all 154 Indians, 16 non-Indian and 75 uh, provident societies, which consol consolidated 245 private insurance company. So this whole makes a 245 uh, private insurance company which were working in India at that time. The Parliament of India passed the Life Insurance uh, Corporation Act on the January, uh, oh, sorry, on 19th of June uh, of 1956. So 19th of June, the Parliament of India passed the LIC Act and 19th January, uh, they have took over the charge to... Uh, to make to merge all these uh, groups and LIC was created on 1st of September 1956 with the merger of more than 245 insurance companies and provident societies it was formed under an act of the parliament that is LIC Act 1956 with an initial capital of 5 crore rupees from the government of India. So, uh, about LIC, now we know it is the largest LIC company in India and the headquarter of LIC is in Mumbai and it comprises 8 zonal offices which are located in, in Mumbai, New Delhi, Kolkata, Chennai, Bhopal, Kanpur, Hyderabad and Patna. LIC has 113 divisional offices with 2048 branches offices in India. It has 1408 satellite Sampark branches and all offices are connected by a vast network which is enabled to ensure the payment of premium anywhere across the nation. It also consists of 54 customer zone and 25 metro area service hubs located in different cities in India. It is the only insurance company which has an individual agent base of 15,37,064. Uh, it is a huge number which itself make a robust uh, approach to provide proper channelization into the insurance market. Apart from the agent of LIC, it also covers with 342 corporate agents, 109 referral agents, 114 brokers, and 42 banks for soliciting life insurance business from the public. And there are also overseas branches also. So LIC is present in 14 countries through branch offices, wholly owned subsidiaries and joint ventures in the following countries. Countries Neymar is Fiji, Mauritius, UK, Bahrain, Kuwait, Qatar, UAE. Oman, Kenya, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Singapore, Bangladesh and New Zealand and among these uh, countries uh, like uh, LIC is the uh, market leader in Fiji, Bahrain and Nepal. So what are the, what are the objectives of LIC? Uh, the primary objective of LIC is to provide life insurance policy to all the section of societies and the second uh, the objective is to provide life insurance services and financial cover to the low income segment at an affordable cost in rural areas of the countries.
द मोटो ऑफ द कंपनी द मोटो ऑफ द एल आई सी इज युगक्षम वहम वहम विच मीन्स योर वेलफेयर इज अवर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी सो वॉट इज टैक लाइन विच वी हर्ड इन अवर रेगुलर टेलीविजन एडवर्टाइजमेंट द टैक लाइन ऑफ द एल आई सी इज जिंदगी के साथ भी जिंदगी के बाद भी now after seeing the objectives and tag line and motto let's see the lic executive board the lic executive board consists of a total of 5 member in which one seat is of the chairman and the other four are the managing director so four managing director and one chairman so you can see for the our chairman name uh, of lic is uh, mr kumar who is the chairman of lic and there are four managing director v venu gopal heman bhargava vipin anand tc sushil kumar and mr kumar uh, he is uh, on march 13 2019 the government appointed mr kumar as the chairman of lic he was the zonal manager of north zone and will hold the office of the lic chairman for Five year for next five year, and T C Sushil and V P Anand. T C Sushil and V P Anand have been appointed as the managing director of the L I C for five year. So thank you.